So, yes, if you go, you can go in here before you go to the palace. Return the crystal to the palace in Parapa. Parappa? Parappa the Rapper? Talk to this lady, refill my health. Slow walking guy. Only the hammer can destroy a roadblock. Thank you for telling me that. Talk with my father before you leave town. Yes. Most people in towns will ask you to do something strange. Always do it, because that was how you learn new magic. This is the only one that gives it to you for free. Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. And if you talk to him, he will give you the shield spell. In Parapa Desert, use this magic to survive. And you get shield, which increases your damage resistance by... doubles it, basically. So you take half damage from creatures. From creatures, projectiles, anything that hits you, you take half damage. But it only lasts for as long as the screen. So as soon as you leave the screen, it, it runs out. So it's best effective against bosses. against bosses or very tough enemies like iron knuckles or the things that you run into in Ganon's palace those freaking jumping talon dudes anyway next we go up here into the desert to rent to return the crisp to get back that trophy that what's her face told us about be careful because there's lava here that things will knock you into and kill you which is why you want the candle first Motherfucker. You motherfucker. I am going to fucking rape you in the nuts and slit your fucking throat. I swear to God, you fucking motherfucking Octorox. I fucking killed you. And you get back the trophy. And then you go into the town, and they will give you the jump spell, which you need to progress. Right in the wrong fucking place. Fuck you. Yeah, the enemies in this game will cheap shot you into the lava, and you will hate them for it. The combat is not that hard, but there are enemies that will cheap shot you, and it's usually something stupid like a fucking bat, or an octorok, or a fucking bot, a blue blob that decided to jump when it should have walked, and decided to suddenly start going in the opposite direction. And they will cheap shot you, and they will kill you, and you will want to throw the game out the fucking window. I already talked to you. I know who you are. You're just an error. You're not real. Talk to this bitch. And I don't even care what she says. She's gonna give you the jump spell. Because you returned her trophy. Even though he fucking died for it, she's gonna give us a fucking spell. Nice. With this spell, you can jump very high. Oh shit. Gee, I wonder what it's called. Jump. Yeah. Real original, guys. As you can see, we have zero lives now. So this game is going to be fucking unfair now. So now you can see why we don't want to go south without a candle, because there's a lot of enemies in this place, and they'll probably kill you. 
Although if you have high enough health, it's not that tough. And someone is just about to message me. Fuck you. Yeah, you better give me that shit. Fuck. Stab when you drop down, you bastard. If you drop down at the wrong time and try to stab, it, your sword will just not come out at all. It'll just eat it. It will just eat. The ground will simply eat your sword. If you go right in here, you'll find a fairy, which I desperately need. Cause those assholes and the fucking fuck motherfucking head shit fickle oh, fuck my. You can access the next palace from here, but I am not going to. I am going to spend the time to get the single most useful item in the entire freaking game. Uh, just like the wraiths, those assholes steal and steal points from you. Why the fuck can I not say what the hell it is? Experience points. Those skulls steal experience points from you. God. What the hell do you want, bitch? Lost your lost your fucking mirror. Why do I give a shit about that? Yeah, what the hell's in here? I found a mirror under the table. Okay, fine. Maybe this is her fucking mirror. Hey, bitch, come out. I have your fucking mirror. Oh, you found my mirror. Follow me. Yeah, you better be fucking worth it. Show me, show me your fucking O face. Found your fucking mirror. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adventure. I, I killed Ganon previously, and you're trying to get some of my fucking mirror. Sending me around looking for goddamn mirrors and shit. What the hell do you care? Uses, yeah. But for that, you get the life spell, the single most useful spell in the entire game. The one that you will use all the time, and they charge you an arm and a leg for it. It uses 60 points. Which is about three and a half bars. I don't know why they can't just say three and a half. I don't know why they have to show sixty, so you have to do math and shit to figure out what, that, what the hell that means. But yeah, it takes about three and a half squares to use the life spell. And here we cannot cross. What do you want? Let me cross, asshole. Only town folk may cross this river. Who cares? I'm trying to get through. Fuck you. So I guess I have to leave. Because they're all snooty here. Oh, only town folk can cross the river. You're not from around here, so we don't like you, asshole. Bitch, I'm trying to save Hyrule. Anyway, what the hell do you want? What are those fucking things? They're like bouncing raccoon. What the hell are they? All right, over here you can find another point bag. P bag, with a with a hundred points. Fuck you. So now we head back up this way. Fuck you.
in order to cross the river, we have to find this guy. We have to find a guy named Bagu. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. And now we can cross the river, because this guy knows us. Or we know this guy. Who cares? Now we have to cross this thing again. I don't know why they can't just build a bridge there. 